Zansi Katlahoma Boy made an emotional return to South African TV screens on Monday morning in a special episode of the Espresso Morning Show. Now, this South African TV presenter returned to the morning show two years after taking time off to focus on personal matters that stemmed from allegations of abuse against him by his former partner, Monique Muller. Hi, hey, Mzansi. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News, Mzansi. If you're new to my channel, you know you're here for the stories. Go ahead, click the subscribe button and, of course, the bell and you'll never miss an update. Namzansi, during the three-hour special, Maboy discussed overcoming hardships, working on himself and figuring out how to move on feeling stronger than ever. Now, one of the underlying themes of his return was the gratitude he feels towards his colleagues, Namzansi, his family and the public for keeping him going. I was very fortunate that Village for me existed, not only in my close circle of family and friends, but even stretched outside to the social media world. Maboy said before acknowledging the numerous messages of support he received daily. I am ever so grateful if uh, it weren't for those people who every day were saying, come back, we've got you, you can do it. I definitely would not be where I am right now. Now, some of the factors and takeaways from the return of Mzansi. Firstly, my boy's first segment back to back took place in the kitchen with an in-house chef, Jenny Morris, ahead of the feature. My boy recalled how amazing the kitchen always smells, adding that it was something he missed during his two-year hiatus. Now, my boy and Morris when then whipped up kitchen chicken soup for the soul with the media personality sharing that this specific meal is something he loves to cook for his son, Phoenix, who he, he shares with Muller. Now, during the three hour special, Mzansi, my boy sat down with fellow presenter Graham Richards. At one point in their conversation, this 35 year old revealed they were genuine moments of darkness that he thought it would just be better to end it all. Uh, I just kept saying to myself, I have to believe that I'm made of stronger stuff than this. It's an important part of one's character and has pulled me through the darkest times. When asked by Richards if there was a moment when he felt he was pushed too far, my boy responded, of course, certainly the beginning. It didn't matter if it was 10, 15 years that you put into something, everything in one moment became impermanent. During this moment, my boy questioned whether it would be better if it was just done. There was a moment when I thought the darkest thoughts I thought would wouldn't it be better if it was just done, just quickly, now done? My family wouldn't have to worry about uh, having to call me every day and deal with me. But the reason for it all needs to come from somewhere. And for me, that was Phoenix. Now, after listening to a viewer's voice note, Mzansi praising Maboya for choosing not to go back to the profession that he studied, accounting, Katlao revealed that he actually returned to varsity. I'm doing my postgraduate diploma in business management. That's how I've been keeping myself busy. Over and above being a dad, I'm studying with the idea of getting my MBA in years to come. Now, referring to things that motivated him to keep busy during the two years off, Maboya said it was about moving forward and I had to to do it not just for myself but for so many other people out there that i think face even greater challenges than i have gone through now a large part of my boy's return has been how his priorities shifted over the last couple of years Mzansi. and one of the things he, he points out that he has worked on the most is building a relationship with his four-year-old son i'm becoming the better man i want to be for my son i'm becoming the better father i want to be for him my boy said when speaking about his relationship with phoenix now when discussing Discussing how his priorities have changed since uh, he was last on the show, Maboya points out that he still has 
hopes and dreams. The hopes and dreams I have always are had are, are still there, but I have a new perspective, especially in the relationship between me and my son, my boy told Richards. Now he also added that while there have been a lot of negatives over the last couple of years, he has focused on the positive. I look at the fact that I had uh, a solid two and a half years of quality time with my son and nothing can replace that. Not any amount of money or dream or ambition or achievement could ever replace that. But yes, I want to show him that the world, what the world is about, the importance of connection with human beings to have empathy and understanding. My boy added that professionally, I would still love to make a mark on the local broadcasting scene, knowing and understanding how important this platform is shaping the country every day. There is, um, there is my passion for music as well, which excites me. Now, what did he miss the most? Upon my boy's return, a lot has changed, Mzansi. When asked if he feels different walking into the set, he said it comes with a different set of tools of consciousness and awareness, but in very positive way. The singer added that he missed the uh, you know, familiar feeling of being on the show the most. I feel genuine love and warmth when I walk into the studio, and it feels uh, reciprocated. The smiles are real, it's family, and I miss that. No matter what was happening in my life around me, I was always able to walk through that door and know that there would be a surge of this welcoming feeling. My boy added that his bubbly personality fueled by being on the show felt as though it had been extinguished. However, it has now been uh, reignited. It's amazing to officially be back. Now, my boy concluded his TV return with the performance of Shania Twain's You're Still the One. After bringing everyone to tears, he shared a special message with his supporters. To every single person who has prayed for me for this moment and willed, willing it to come to fruition, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I cannot tell you how much this means to me. Here's to many more feel-good moments. Well, Mzansi, this just goes to show you that the internet has so much power in this day and age. It has a power to make you. It has a power to break you. And thank God for Katleha Maboe, it actually brought him back to life. Because had it not been for the people on the internet who were crying out for his return, he probably wouldn't be here right now. And of course, his uh, resilience, uh, his uh, will to go, go on. And of course, his son, who actually made sure but he doesn't give up. But there you have it, Mzansi. Do leave your thoughts in the comment section. You know I love to hear from you. But for now, you know, I will bring you the updates hot just the way you like it.